Hey, Brett, how are you today? I'm good, Bonnie. How are you? I'm great, thank you. And thank you for this film. I, I uh, am glad that I had a box of Kleenex next to me. So thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> always good, always need cry. that. A good cry is uh, sometimes, it's very therapeutic, I think. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? I love it. That, that gets an A plus in my book when I get a good cry out of a film. So Fantastic. there you go. There you go. Um, this, of course, is based on um, a really great young adult uh, book, um, sort of like a rock star. What was it about the story that kind of really touched your heart and you thought, I got to make this into a movie? It was really about hope for me, um, that I think that even, even before the world sort of turned upside down this year, when I was thinking about what I wanted to focus my energies on as a filmmaker and a storyteller, I was really taken by, by the hope in Matthew's book and also the hope I think in the in the adaptation that we I even leaned into that I think more yeah. and, and and saw that uh, not only can we always have hope uh, it, it can be taken away from us that we can suffer you know losing that hope and so I um I I, I read uh, the Emily Dickinson poem hope is a thing with feathers and said I I, I think that's what this film and this book are about and I mm -hmm. and I really wanted to make a film about that and you know Oli who's so phenomenal in this role as uh, Amber Appleton my God that girl she's just not just so talented just but such a lovely lovely person I honestly couldn't see anybody else playing her was she kind of like your first go to. She was definitely in my mind. Yes. I mean, I, I, when I went in to interview for this job or pitch for this job, if you will, I, I brought her up. I said, yeah. you know, I think someone who could be amazing for this is, is Ali Crowalio. She's someone that has auditioned for me before. And I've always, she always stayed in my mind, just her spirit, her energy, mm -hmm. just the way that she is. I mean, just in real life, you know, and I could, and I've also, seen the depths that she can go to emotionally and i was right. like she, she's incredible she's a star and when um when we got her i started rewriting the script to be kind of tailored more for her you know um and and so yeah she really was my amber appleton and and someone and i'm, I'm really glad she earned this role though i don't want to think that it was just given her oh yeah so, so many fantastic actors auditioned for this role mm -hmm. ali was one of them and she earned the role fair and square she's yeah uh, she's well fantastic. she's yeah she is fantastic and and you know what one thing i love about this character is that there's not a lot that gets her down i mean she has got a tough life she's got a lot going on there so optimistic so selfless like somebody who gives and gives and gives and doesn't feel good about taking yeah. do you know anybody like that in your I, life yeah i you know i think that there are people in general who are just more giving in yeah. general, like that's just sort of their nature. Um, I think that my wife is a more giving person in general than, than maybe that's a, nice. that's a less nice. selfish person, a kind yeah. of more in tune with what somebody else might be feeling. And I think that, that, that people have that for all sorts of reasons. I think Amber Appleton is apt to give and not mm -hmm. take because people, when you give, uh, people rarely pry. They right. rarely go, "Hey, is everything okay with you?" That she's. It's also a, a a protective suit of armor for her. Yeah, it's genuine, but it comes from actually a place of 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 pain, which is really interesting to me. Yeah, and um, I think I think she she is all willing to sacrifice her feelings and her situation to help others. And I love that the film is really about others coming together for her. Someone Absolutely. who's deserving of, of that love and that, that help. And, um, and I think, I hope audiences will watch this film and they'll feel really genuinely good, not just uh, sort of saccharine good, but like a full hearty, good vibe. That was definitely the goal. In, in yeah. Well, you, you gave us that goal and, and, and good on you for being able to direct Carol Burnett. I'm a little bit nerd. I'm a little bit jealous about that, but she's wonderful too. And uh, anyway, thank you so much for this, uh, for this time and for this film and uh, stay healthy and stay safe and can't wait for summer loving. I'm going to be right in the audience for that. I can tell you a hundred percent. It's going to be really fun and surprising. I can't yeah. wait for people to see what we're cooking up. Thank, we thank can't you. wait either. Thank you, Brett, Great. for your time. Have a good day. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.